Hey everybody! So you can see I'm in prison with my inmate, the gorgeous Andrew. Andy to his Andy. friends. Yeah. Andy. Um, I, I need to raise money and I hate raising money because I'm not a raise money raiser, although I do like my raising money. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. So um, I've noticed this man in action, professional <coughs> fundraiser. Mm. He may or may not be, but it's just amazing. And I want to share his technique for raising money and, uh, and see how you could use the same technique to raise funds for your properties. So, Andrew, um, I notice you have a system. Can mm. you just share with my, my, my viewers a little bit about your system? Of course I can, Ben. So, I mean, what we're doing today is we're calling people up that we know, know reasonably well, whether that's through work, whether it's through friendships, um, whether it's, um, it's people that, you know, related in some way, um, that you've got some kind of relationship with. And we're asking them to donate money to a charity, which I think we'll talk about later. Um, now, it's very easy to get people to donate money to a charity in general if they've got money, because you just tell them what the cause is and why. But doing this kind of cold calling, saying, hey, I'm in prison, I'm dressed as a prisoner, until I make bail of a thousand pounds, they're not going to let me out, um, can come across a little bit weird if you get that phone call straight out of the blue. So one of the things I did is I, I told as many people as I could that this was likely to happen to me and gave them a little bit of background. Um, and then what I also have done is when I've called people up today, I've started out by talking about how are you, what's going on, um, maybe a little bit of gossip, maybe a little bit of news, um, finding out what's happening with them, talking about those drinks that we haven't done for a while and we must catch up, and then segue into the and I'm raising money for a charity. Tell them a little bit about the uh, cause. Um, also tell them the, the, the whole background of, you know, we're kind of in prison um, and I need some bail money. And it usually works very, very well. Some people um, will just go, yep, yeah, how much? What are, what's the going rate? Some people will immediately say an amount. And some people say, yeah, yeah, well, can I have a little think about it? Just send me the details. And what I've found is, that the, um, the donations have been piling in um, from all three types. Uh, and I've noticed it, I'm just mm. amazed. So, so some of the things that you can relate to raising finance for your properties, for example, is one, first of all, Andy has a lot of friends, a lot of connections. If you are not um, abundant in friends and, and so on, you're on a hard wicket, I think, is the... Yeah. phrase because you haven't added enough value to other people's lives so I think that's the number one thing mm. the, the second thing is he's made it fun hey look I'm in prison I, I need you had to, to, to raise my bail money made it fun so if you're raising fun don't make it a big thing don't don't like make it all corporate on, on your friends mm. the third thing is he's got a system he's methodically going through names Oh, yes. uh, I've got a sheet here which he, he, he's not been using, he's got a spreadsheet for this, but it's got a, the name, phone number, uh, and whether they are likely, and I think Andy mentioned three categories, mm -hmm. likely to, to, to make a donation. So you might ask somebody for two, three, four, five, ten grand to help with uh, your property and write it down on the list. They, they might want some more information, uh, I think, in property because the the sums you're asking for are a lot larger, so please uh, have some, some kind of uh, brochure or link. Um, there's a link to, to the transitions that Andy is using, this is a, the, the charity. Um, and uh, then be able to give your, your friends some more information about what it is that you're trying to do. Now, like Andy said, sometimes they'll say, oh, uh, you know, give me more information. Sometimes they'll promise amounts. How much of that actually happens? How much it gets converted to yes. a real donation? Well, it's difficult to tell because we've, we've been at this for about four hours and I think so far I've got around about 500-ish pledged and currently about 300, 300, 350 has actually come in on the web page. So that's not a bad conversion rate because a lot of the time people are going to take a few hours before they have a break and they go to that link. Um, 
and we're trying to do this in a short space of time in one day. So, um, so, so, so far we've got a pretty good conversion rate. But I, I think what I've found is about 80 or 90 percent of the, of the people I call promise something and about 90 percent of the promises so far are coming through. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, but expect that. And he doesn't get annoyed or upset if, if people don't follow through. So expect that with people saying, oh yeah, this looks like a great property investment and, and so on. But if they don't come through, no big deal. It's still your friend, okay? Mm. So I think those, that covers the most of the points. You've yeah. got a systemized way of, of uh, going through things. I know you can't see this on, your, on the video, but just think of a spreadsheet with names and phone numbers and amounts. And uh, most of all, make it fun. Make it fun. Bye. <laughs>